Alright, hey everybody, and welcome to part 17 of our playthrough of Pokemon Trading Card Game for Game Boy. So, since the last time I talked to you guys, it's been quite a while since I actually recorded an episode. Uh, since then, I've gotten a couple of games and new games. Of course, I've gotten Poke Park Wii, Pikachu's Adventure, the, uh, the new Wii game. I've played that for a, oh, a couple hours the last couple nights. Yeah, I'm fairly far in that. Uh, see how far I can get. And then about ooh, three or four weeks ago, I got DJ Hero 2. I still think we need to have a Pokemon version of that. There is a strong possibility that such a game might destroy the universe, but it would still be worth it if you ask me. Um, in any case, let's go ahead and continue from Diary. So as you may remember, in our last game, we got a... One of these is Mewtwo level 60, because we competed in the Challenge Cup and defeated our rival. So now, let's see... I gotta make a new deck and uh, get ready for the next club. Alright, so while you weren't watching, I went in and I uh, built a sort of a Haymaker deck. It doesn't have all the trainers you would normally see in one, because my resources are still a bit limited at this point. In any case, let's go ahead and take on the Lightning Club. So Haymaker is a deck that's based most entirely around basic Pokémon. Um, the typical example is Scyther, Electabuzz, and Hitmonchan, because they all have uh, relatively cheap attacks, uh, several of them for just one energy. But anyway, let's go ahead and start here. Here's Jennifer. Apparently she is a Pikachu lover. Now, in the trading card game, lightning Pokémon are generally weak to fighting. However, you have to be careful, because there are... A, it's, there's Zapdos, and there's also a special Pikachu card that are resistant to fighting. So let's take a look. And let's duel Jennifer's Pikachu deck. You notice that if you look closely, Jennifer has some face paint on it. Maybe that was the inspiration for uh, um, Pokemon Battle Revolution, the Pikachu face paint you can have there. In any case, let's get going. So let's see, we don't want to be fighting, so we probably want to start Scyther, as you know, has free retreat. Oh, I go second. So let's take a look at this. This is Surfing Pikachu. There's actually two different versions of this card with slightly different art. One of them has a mountain in the background, one of them doesn't. They both are called Surfing Pikachu, and they both have one attack. Surf, two water energy, allows you to do 30 damage. So it's kind of a weird little card like that. This was a promotional. I don't think I'm going to be able to find one. I thought I had one, but I guess I don't. It was reprinted, I believe, in one of the... Um, I think in the Stormfront set. It was either Stormfront or the uh, set before, and I'll have to check. In any case, there's not much to look at here, but it is kind of a cool card that was given out as a promo. Let's see. Oh, now I have the Fighting Energy, so let's go ahead and put that in Hintmachan. Again, Scyther is very popular because it has Free Retreat. Let's, see, let's check and see what's on the bench there. Just a regular old Pikachu. We'll take a look at that in a second. Hit with a jab. Let's 
Now let's put a lightning energy on Hitmonchan. And we'll do another jab to knock out Pikachu. Well, that's a little different Pikachu you may not be familiar with. So here's another Pikachu. It's uh, 60 HP, which is pretty good for uh, basic. It's got two attacks. One of those is Growl, which uh, reduces the amount of damage the defending Pokemon does. The other is Thundershock, which just hit me with 20 damage to chance of paralysis. Overall, it's, you know, not too bad. Luckily, I can get out of this one with a switch. Let's put the other Scyther on my bench. Let's see, I'm not going to be able to knock this out, so let's remove one there. And let's attach double closer into one of our Scyther. Our special punch. And let's take a look at this Pikachu. This is a little different. So, this Pikachu was originally from the Jungle expansion. It's only got one attack, which is Spark, two Lightning Energy does 20 damage, and it gets to choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and do 10 damage to it. And just like 99% of the time, when you choose a bench Pokemon to do damage to, you don't apply weakness and resistance. I'm only aware of one actual exception to this in the entirety of the trading card game's history, which was a uh, Drift Blim, I believe, were printed in one of the um, SP sets within the last year or so. In any case, let's wrap this one up. And there we go! So I think that's going to do it for part 17 of our playthrough of the Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy. Uh, in our next episode, we'll keep going through the Lightning Club and uh, see what else it has in store for us.